Hello all, welcome to my channel. Now in this video, I will show you how to write the PLSQL block to generate the report like this, in which I want to display the department number, number of employee working in each department, as well as I want the total salary, as well as I want the grand total also. So how to write this? So first of all, you need to write the query. So let me write the query over here. That is select department number, comma, count star, as number of employees so i'm just writing over here that is as number of employee and i want the sum of salary so i'm just writing over here sum of salary as total salary from employee and here you can just write that is a group by department number and you can write the semicolon you will get the department wise salary but here you can look into the data that this data is available over here in a descending order and here I want it in a ascending order so I need to write the order by close also so let me edit this so I'm just writing ed over here and here I'm writing that is order by department number let me copy all this statement and let me close this now here I'm getting the department number 10 20 30 department wise employee working in it and i have the total salary of department but i want to display this in a plsql block so for that i need to write the plsql block so let's do the same thing practically so first of all i need to write over here that is set server output on here i want to write the declare begin and 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 here I want to write the cursor so I'm just writing here that is cursor c1 is and here you can paste the query so my query is that is select department number count star as a number of employee sum of salary group by department number order by department number so my cursor is created now I need to access the record of this cursor one by one so I need to write the loop over here so I'm just writing over here that is for I in C1. Whenever you are using the for loop in a cursor, no need to open the cursor as well as no need to close the cursor. As well as no need to fetch the record. This I variable automatically fetch the record from select statement. So using I, you can access the column of select statement. So here you can write for I in C1 loop and you can write over here that is and loop. Now I want to display over here, that is the information of department number, number of employee and salary. So I'm just writing over here, that is dbms underscore output dot put underscore line. And here you can write, that is i dot department number. Using piping symbol, you can write here, that is i dot number of employee. Using piping symbol, you can concatenate over here, that is i dot total salary. Here you can write semicolon. You can copy all this statement. And you can paste over here in PLSQL. So what happens see, I'm getting over here the department number 10, number of employee 3, and the salary is 10,500. But I'm not getting the proper output. So to display the proper output, you need to use the functions like LPED and RPED. So I'm just writing over here, that is I want to give here perfect spacing. So I'm writing over here, that is RPED of 20. So here 20 space will be there. R paid of 20. So 20 space over here also. And I want to put here left side padding of, for example, 10. You can copy all this statement and you can paste over here in PLSQL. Now here I'm getting the report type output, but I want the heading also. So here you can just copy this particular line and you can paste over here before for loop and here instead of this department number you can just write over here that this is department number here you can write that this is number of employees and here you can write in a single quote that is total salary now i want to draw a line so I'm writing here that is dbms underscore output dot put underscore line L paid. I want to repeat this that is 
60 times and I am writing des again. So des will be replaced with the des. Let me copy this statement and that I want to write over here as well as I want to draw a same line after the end of the loop. Let me copy this statement and you can paste over here in PLSQL and you will get the result over here that is department number, number of employees and total salary. But here in total salary, R and Y is not available. Why? Because I am using the alphabet over here and I am passing the 10. So what happened? The number of characters in total salary is greater than the 10. So here you can provide over here that is 15. As well as if you look carefully over here in data, then this is available exactly below the title that is number of employees. Same over here inside the department number. So I want this data in a central alignment. So for that, you can just write over here in display output CHR of 9 and you can concatenate with the piping symbol and you can just copy all this statement and you can paste over here in PLSQL and you will get the output over here. But this space of salary is not proper. So for that, you can make the changes over here and here you can just reduce this that is 18 and here also you can reduce 8 with the 7. You can just copy this and you can paste again over here in PLSQL. Now looks good. Now I want to display the total also. So for that, I need to declare the variable. So let me declare here one variable that is variable total integer column is equal to zero. For the salary also, I need the variable. So I'm writing here variable total integer column is equal to zero. Now I want to store total salary and number of employee in this two different variables. So I'm just writing over here and that is variable total column is equal to variable total plus I dot number of employee. And here you can write variable total salary column equal to variable total salary plus I dot total salary. So this two value will be stored in a total salary as well as in a total number of employee. You can just copy this line and you can paste over here. You can paste over here also. Now I want to display this two. That is total salary and grand total. So you can just write over here. That is a left side padding I want. And that is I want that the total. And here you can concatenate total number of employees. So I'm just writing over here. That is V total. And I want the block of 20 characters. So I'm just writing over here that is comma 20. So what happened? Left side spaces will be there and right justified total column and the total will be displayed over here. You can just copy all this and you can paste over here in PLSQL. You will get the total over here, but left side spaces is not there. So by default to provide the left side spaces, you need to write at least one character. So I need to concatenate it with the CHR. So I'm writing over here that is CHR of nine. So this is the one character of space that is I'm concatenating over here. Now you can just copy all this. And you can paste over here in PLSQL. You can give one more space and this total will be exactly below this number of employees. So here I need to make it over here. That is, this is the total length of 21 as well as I want the total salary. So I'm just concatenating over here. That is piping symbol. And here you can write that is left side padding. I want the keyword that is grand total column as well as I want to concatenate over here. That is variable total salary. And now I need to create the block of number of characters. So for example, I'm just passing the block of 20 characters. So what happened? Let's just check. You can just copy this statements and you can paste over here in PLSQL. See here, I'm getting the grand total, but this is not exactly below the total salary. So for that, I need to give the one, two, three and four spaces. So here you can just write that instead of 20, it is 24. Now 
you can just copy all this statement and you can paste over here in PLSQL and you will get the report that this is the report of number of employees working in each department with the total salary as well as grant total. So this is what exactly I want. You can just cross verify with the output. Here you can just check is this the same that I want over here? Yes, it is same. So I just did the PLSQL blob to generate this kind of report using the cursor. So that's it from my side. If you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.